screening process of how do we select mutual funds. Number 1. We start with all the equity mutual fund schemes available in India. Then, 2,000 plus fund remaining. Number 2. We only select fund houses with a minimum of 3,000 crore rupees to shortlist stable AMCs. Then, 1710 fund remaining. Number 3. We only select fund sizes with a minimum of 1,000 crore rupees to shortlist stable schemes. Then, 1247 fund remaining. Number 4. We only select funds with a three-year history as it helps measure the consistency of the fund and its manager. Then, 820 fund remaining. Number 5. We only select open-ended funds as they allow investors to enter and exit at any time. Then, 478 fund remaining. Number 6. We avoid sector funds as concentration to certain sectors may result in high risk compared to a diversified fund and also may result in inconsistent alpha due to sector cyclicality. Then, 379 fund remaining. Number 7. We avoid ELSS funds as they have a lock-in and the nature of this category is a liquid. Then, 337 fund remaining. Number 8. We avoid value, DIV. Yield funds because the category due to its style of investing may interfere with the aim of achieving 4% alpha over nifty as compared to a diversified fund. Then, 219 fund remaining. Number 9. We avoid balanced funds because the debt component in the balanced fund will interfere with the aim of achieving 4% alpha over nifty. Then, 172 fund remaining. Number 10. We avoid contra funds because the category due to its style of investing may result in high risk compared to a diversified fund then 169 fund remaining. Number 11. We choose funds with the highest efficiency ratio. This ratio tells us the return delivered by the fund for every 1% of risk taken. Risk is measured in terms of standard deviation. Then, 136 fund remaining. Number 12. We choose funds with the highest rolling returns. This ratio tells us the average return made by 24 different investors who invested for one year investment period any time in the last three years. Then, 121 fund remaining. Number 13. We choose funds with the lowest down capture returns. The ratio tells us how the fund has performed in times when the market delivered a negative return. Then, 94 fund remaining. Number 14. We choose funds with the lowest loss standard deviation. It measures the standard deviation of negative returns delivered by a fund. Then, 65 fund remaining. Number 15. We choose funds with the lowest value at risk. It is the maximum rupee amount expected to be lost over a time horizon, worst case scenario, at a predefined confidence level x 3% VAR over 3 years at 95% confidence level. 3 losses over 3 year period for 100 rupees, then, 31 fund remaining. Number 16. We choose funds with the lowest average loss. The average of losses experienced by funds in a certain period. Then, 24 funds remaining. Number 17. We choose funds with the lowest semi-deviation. Semi-deviation is a calculation of the standard deviation of only those observations which are lesser than the mean average of the data set. Then, 20 fund remaining. Number 18. We choose funds as per future behavior analytics. Analyst estimates of the target price of each stock to arrive at the target NAV of the fund for the next one year. The gap between the target NAV and actual is calculated, arriving at the return potential of each fund. Funds with higher return potential are preferred. Then, 16 fund remaining. Number 19. We apply qualitative analysis to understand AMC leadership track record, fund manager track record, his stock picking capability, and analyst team support. Then, 14 fund remaining. Contact us to get a selection of mutual funds personalized to your risk appetite and financial goals. If you like our video then please like the button and subscribe to our channel for more videos. If you have any questions then comment on the comment box, we help you. Thank you so much for your time.